let me first show you how would I start this role play. Okay, now it clearly says that physiotherapist has sent this patient to me. So definitely I have read the referral letter and uh, I would know their name as well. Okay, so I would start this role play by saying, hello, I'm Dr. Priya. And uh, I can see from your notes that you are John Smith, isn't it? So can I call you John? So what I can read from your notes, John, is that um, you have had this injury in your leg about 10 weeks ago. And now because you want to return to your work, you are here for my advice on it. Am I correct? And then the, the patient would probably say yes. And then I would say, now before I can actually go on to decide whether you, if this is the right time for you to resume your job, I would like to see, or I would like to ask some questions about your current pain levels. Can I? And then I would ask questions. So tell me, how is the pain now? And they would say, I don't have much pain uh, otherwise, but yeah, it's painful when I try to put my foot down. So the next question I would ask is, so have you tried walking without crutches? Because here it says that they have pain when they put their foot down. That tells you that they have been walking with some support, isn't it? So I would say, I see. So have you tried walking without crutches? Are you able to walk without crutches? And they would say, no, it's painful. I can't as yet walk without crutches. I see. So um, can you tell me a little bit more about your job? like? What kind of job do you have? Or what does your work involve? And then they would tell me that they are, um, you know, their work involves, it. I can see that they are a retailer, but exactly what they have to do. So they, then they would tell me that, yeah, they have to move around the store or walk around the store a little. And then I would start explaining whether they can actually go um, back to their work at this stage or not. So from this point onwards, Dr. Yachna, now I would be playing the role of the patient. And can you give your decision based on the information that I have given about my pain, that I still have some pain, I can't walk without crutches as yet, uh, and based on the x-ray that you have seen. Dr. Yajna, if you are prepared, can we start speaking? No, um, I don't need to write. Yourself. Yeah, you don't have to write. You can unmute yourself and we'll be uh, ex actually doing the task. Okay, so... Uh, I'm very sorry to hear that you cannot walk with the crutches and but here the situation is different. It is really important for you to stay home so that you can regain the full mobility of your leg. Mm -hmm. My best advice is to take plenty of rest and the bone which is fractured is a temporary bone which will which helps uh, with the fusing and the bone is not much stronger so if you rush to uh, join the regular activity it may cause weakness okay but i'm tired of sitting at home uh, doctor it has been 10 weeks since uh, you know i have been staying at home so i feel i'm getting depressed sitting at home all the time I want to do something. So Dr. Viraj, can you take over from, from this point on? Uh, I suggest you to uh, limit your movements because I have seen your x-ray mm -hmm. that uh, uh, your uh, 
it is it is it is show it shows a uh, callus formation mm -hmm. so uh, your bone is uh, is not very strong now so i would suggest uh, if you do a task which limit your activity uh, like uh, uh, you can do the activity of cashier mm -hmm. and uh, i said i would suggest you to do modified duties like uh, you, if you can limit uh, your work if you can uh, Okay, you mean to say that I can't uh, do my routine job, and if if I can change some sort of work that I can do, then then it's okay. Yeah, you can you can work in shift, limited mm -hmm. shifts, and mm -hmm. yeah, that that makes sense. I that, can definitely yeah, that ask. would promote your healing. Yeah, I, I would definitely ask my employer if he allows me to change my role for a time being. How long would I need to work like that? I think uh, a bone formation will take three to six months mm -hmm. uh, to heal. It, to heal, and uh, now uh, you you had ten weeks uh, after surgery, so you should wait uh, for six weeks more. Mm -hmm. So after six weeks, uh, you can uh, resume your duty like before. Okay. So now over to you, Amita. So uh, what should I be doing to, to make sure that, you know, this heals faster? Because now I want to really go back to my routine activities. And, uh, you know, I also am a very keen football player. So I want to play that as well. Hello, Mr. John. I'm uh, glad to hear that you are... Uh worried about your football and uh, your care also you wouldn't say i'm glad to hear that you are worried glad means happy no what could you sorry ma'am that's okay that's absolutely fine so here uh, i will uh, recommend you some ad uh, advice mm -hmm. for your continuing care like exercise that you can do with your physiotherapist such as hydrotherapy and uh, running in pool it is uh, comfortable for you because uh, the your physiotherapist will assist you in water mm -hmm. and uh, will provide you some movements you can do in that mm -hmm. so you may feel comfortable and if you will not follow my advice then it will it may have some complications to you uh, it will take uh, like such as it will take some more time in your healing process mm -hmm. i hope you can uh, understood yeah it makes sense so um, how about football like when would i be able to participate in the match It will take uh, time for you that to, because the bone process healing already that uh, ago is told that uh, it will take uh, three to six months mm -hmm. for the healing process. Mm -hmm. So after this, some movements that you will start the exercise and uh, some recovery, you can may join your uh, football game again. Okay. Fair so let me now give you the feedback first of all um, very good performance from all three of you as far as language is concerned considering that you did it for the first time there was some hesitation but i'm sure you will be able to overcome that hesitation with more practice um so yeah starting with uh, dr yachana uh, you could have more uh, explained in more detail that um, you know i have seen your x-ray and what I can see from the x-ray is that your bone has started healing, but it is still very weak. 
So you may not need to use word like callus, but you can simply say that your fractured bone has actually started healing, but it is still not very strong. It is still very weak. And therefore, this is not right time for us to resume your work completely at this stage. Okay, And then wait for them, how they are responding. If they say that still they want to go, then you would explain them that rushing may cause weakness. Uh, here, uh, Dr. Viraj, it is saying explore the ways. So instead of you directly saying you can do those things, um, you were supposed to ask, like, uh, is it possible that you can do some different type of work for a time being? Or would that be possible uh, at your workplace? Because see, uh, you know, it's really difficult that you, somebody else start, starts doing your work and you change your work from something else. So explore. The verb explore itself means ask the patient and find out if they can. So if you are very keen to go back to work, but we can do one thing uh, is that instead of, you know, doing the work that you have been currently doing that involves a lot of, uh, you know, walking around the store, would you be able to change your job profile a little bit for time being instead of walking around the store? Can you do something that you can sit and do? Yes, and that could be possibly working as a cashier or completing orders or something like that. And again, here you need to incorporate what they have said earlier. That you mentioned you still have pain and you are not able to work without crutches. So in that situation, it, I'm afraid it won't be possible for you to resume your regular job. However, you can resume some activities if you change the type of work that you are doing at the moment. So would you be able to discuss with your employers if they can allow you some job which you can sit and do, then that's fine. Right? So explore, it says, and uh, whenever you are giving responses to the patient, always try to include what they have said earlier. Relate it so that they would find uh, it more relatable to their situation and more personal advice. And for you, uh, Amita, again, it was a very good attempt. But here it says, recommend continuing hydrotherapy, which means they have already been doing it and they need to continue it, isn't it? So you may not need to explain them what it is. You just have to say that, um, you know, the your bone still needs some time for complete healing. And for that reason, you, you need to continue the physiotherapy that you are doing with your physiotherapist, the hydrotherapy and the cold running exercises. And once the bone has healed completely, then probably it would be the right time for you to start doing more vigorous physical activity. Okay? So you can again explain them that playing football involves a lot of movements, a lot of pressure on the joints. And therefore, it is not the right time for them to start playing football as yet. So I hope this uh, doing this and getting feedback on it has helped you.